back, terrific travelers. I am so glad you've joined us for day three of Rocky Railway Online VBS. Who's on board for another adventure today? Here, we're discovering that Jesus' power pulls us through, even when life gets a little off track. Let's sing about that right now with Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. we trust we trust we trust in you Jesus you're all whistles are big and bold because they have important messages to communicate. Sometimes God wants us to be bold too. Sometimes we have to stand up for what we believe. We have to say things that are unpopular. We need to share what we believe about Jesus, even though no one else feels the same way. Being bold can be hard, but you're not in it alone. Our Bible point today is Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. I wonder what bold Bible memory buddy will help us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's find out. Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra, and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe, and different people have different names for me. 
In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend. Tell the truth. Or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're back with me again today. I'm happy to see each and every one of you. I'm so glad you're here. This week we're discovering amazing things about Jesus' power. Today we are exploring how Jesus' power helps us to be bold. So we trust Jesus. I want you to open your Bible to Acts 3. Today's power-packed, totally true story comes from the book of Acts. To experience what happened, we'll travel to the city of Jerusalem. And because this whole story kicks off with someone who can't walk, well, what if you couldn't walk at all? Today, most people who can't walk are able to move with wheelchairs, but back in Bible times, there were no wheelchairs. Friends had to carry someone who could not walk. Whew. That's not easy. Imagine what it would be like to carry your friend to their job or to their school or back and forth home every day. What if you were the one that had to be carried? Think about what it might be like not to be able to walk at all. Well, on that day in Jerusalem, something incredibly bold happened over by the temple gate. Every day, a man sat there. He'd never been able to walk. Not once in the past 40 years had he stood up or taken even a step. Today, someone who can't walk can live a full and productive life. But here in Jerusalem, in this time, if you can't walk, it's hard to have a job. You can't be a fisherman or a carpenter. You can't be a potter or even a priest. All this man could do was hold out his hands and ask for money. Sometimes people would toss a coin to him, but plenty of times, People would just walk right past him 
without even glancing at him. Well, one day, two Christians named Peter and John were on their way to the temple. They stopped right in front of the man that had something for him. It was way better than he ever expected. Peter said something really bold. I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. So what happened when Peter, when Peter boldly said that Jesus could heal the man? I'll show you what happened. That man jumped up and praised God, and we can join him. Everyone get into the praise position, so stand up, up on your feet, and let's move. It's a, it, it's a miracle. So that miracle sparked quite a commotion. A huge crowd gathered around, and that's when the second incredibly bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and started teaching about Jesus. They told the crowd who Jesus was and that Jesus had died for their sins. They told the crowd that they needed Jesus, and that made some people in the crowd very angry. See, not everyone in the town was a fan of, uh, was a fan of Jesus. Some people, including a lot of Jerusalem's leaders, thought Jesus was a liar. They thought Christians who talked about Jesus were liars, too. That makes me wonder something. Is it hard or unpopular for you to talk about Jesus? Sometimes it is for me, too. Maybe you have an idea of what things were like for Christians in Jerusalem. The leaders there got so mad at Peter and John that day that they had the guards seize them and keep them in jail for the night. The leaders told Peter and John to quit talking about Jesus or else. Peter and John had to make a decision. Stay quiet and be safe, or keep talking about Jesus and get in a lot of trouble. What's one thing you've heard about Jesus this week that you'd like for other people to know? Have we learned about his power to help us to be bold and to help us to trust in him? Well, Peter and John thought there were things about Jesus that people should know too. They boldly told the leaders, we can't obey you instead of Jesus. We're not going to stop telling people what we've seen and heard. Now, that was bold. They stood up and they took a stand for Jesus. Remember, Jesus' power can help you be bold. you got to trust in Jesus. Back to Peter and John. The angry leaders threatened them and commanded them not to talk about Jesus anymore. Then they let Peter and John go. The men went back to their Christian friends and told them what had happened. Do you know what their friends did? They prayed together, asking God for courage. I know we all need courage when it comes to being bold in what we believe in, but if you're surrounded by friends who want to remind you that you never face anything alone, that's a good thing. I'd like to pray for you. God knows what you need boldness in. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you for always being with us. It's comforting to know we're never alone. When we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you, when we feel like we're the only ones facing tough stuff, you're right there beside us, giving us your strength, your love, your boldness. 
We love you and we thank you in your name. Amen. Imagination Station, I'm so glad to see you here. I can't even imagine all the discoveries we'll make today. But you know what comes first, right? I just have to ask, did you bring your imagination today? Uh-oh, looks like some of you forgot again. And we're going to need a bunch of imagination today. That's why I had a chat with my friend Sierra. You've met Sierra, haven't you? Sierra the mountain lion? Well, Sierra told me something amazing about herself and her mountain lion friends. Mountain lions like Sierra can leap up to 15 feet in the air. That's higher than most ceilings. Let's see if we can do that. Everybody hop up. And on the count of three, let's see how high we can jump. Ready? One, two, Three! Oh, well, I don't think any of us jumped as high as 15 feet. Let's try one more time. Here we go. One, two, three! That was fun, but I don't think we'll ever be able to match Sierra, without a trampoline, that is. Sierra and her mountain lion friends are so cool. Which do you think is stronger in a mountain lion? Do they have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? Think about your answer. Ready? Okay, let's get that drum roll going so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is mountain lions have a weak sense of smell but they have an extremely sensitive and powerful sense of hearing. Imagine that! Speaking of power, today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! Sometimes we may not feel very bold, especially when it comes to sharing our faith in Jesus. You've probably heard the phrase, practice makes perfect, right? Well, we'll never be perfect but practice can help us be bold. It's kind of like this. You take one little step, like praying before lunch at school. Maybe someone asks you why you do that. So you take the next little step and say, you're thanking God for your food. 
Then maybe you take another little step. Say that you're really thankful to God for sending Jesus and so on and so on and so on. Each bold step makes the next step a little easier. It's a matter of momentum. Let me show you what I mean. Hmm, this chain by itself isn't very bold. It just sits in the bucket. That's kind of like our lives without Jesus. We can't do a whole lot on our own, just like this chain can't do anything on its own. But when we have Jesus in our lives, his power helps us. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Now, watch what happens when we add the unexpected power of momentum to the chain. Wow, did you see that? The power of momentum made the chain boldly jump out of the bucket. Wow, when we have Jesus in our lives, he can help us be bolder than we ever thought possible. Now it's time to introduce today's sciency fun gizmo. Behold, the bold blaster. Let's see what it can do. Well, that was kind of a dud. Let's try again. Hmm, this bold blaster sure isn't very bold. Something must be missing. I'm gonna add the power pack. That should help the bold blaster be bold. Let's see what happens. Put your arm out totally level and... Wow! All right, now it's your turn to try it. Pull out your bold blaster kit and lay it out. You should have two pieces, the green tube, and the green straw with the red rubber ball. To assemble, hold the red rubber ball and place the green tube over the straw. To drop, hold your arm out straight and level. Wow, now it's your turn to try out your bold blaster. Does it matter which way you attach the power pack? Can you get your bold blaster to jump as high as Sierra the mountain lion? When you play with your bold blaster, remember, with Jesus, our boldness can reach new heights. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Take a few minutes to play with your bold blaster. And when it's time to come back, you'll hear the train whistle. Have fun.
believe it or not, we've come to the end of our time at Imagination Station. Take your bold blaster and put it inside of a baggie so you don't lose any of the pieces. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you to remember today's point, that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. All right, well, we will see you back here next time at Imagination Station. <laughs>